Okay, so to start in our spiral, we're going to open it, and on the very first page, we're going to label table of contents. CJ, put that down. And then we're going to turn to the very next page and we're going to call this page one. The title of page one is proportions. Often on these pages, we will be putting the objective. So underneath that, let's put students will be able to set up and solve proportions. And this is where it's going to get a little tricky because this is where we need to do a little bit of gluing. When we glue, I have a phrase that you guys are going to learn. It's called dot, dot, not a lot. And I'm realizing as I start to glue mine in, it was a little bit wide, so I just had to trim it down. If yours doesn't fit, grab a pair of scissors and trim it down. We want it to fit going across there just like that. And I'm only going to glue across the very, very top, underneath where it says comparing quantities and proportions. And when I say dot, dot, not a lot, this is what I mean. I'm just going to put a single dot. Do you see how little those are? And when I turn this over, I'm going to glue it underneath our objective. And when I run my finger over that, I should feel the little dots underneath there. Don't do crazy glue like this because it gets too wet and it gets it starts shriveling up. So let's get that glued in there. And now I know I won't have people put away their scissors until it's glued in next time, right? Okay, we're going to start off with a word problem you guys tried to work on yesterday. Borrow the glue if it's not working. And this is where, even if you don't have it glued, I want you with me, and we'll come back and get them glued in. But put this on your paper where you would be gluing it, okay? And let's set aside glue for now, and let's work on getting what we want to put underneath here so we have some good examples. Look at this problem from yesterday. Who remembers this? We looked at this very first, and there's two things being compared. That's always the case when we have ratios. We always have two things being compared. What were the two things being compared here? Grams of protein and grams of cereal. Do you see the W here? That's where we're going to put our word. So we're going to use our example problem from yesterday, and I want you to lift up that flap. And we were comparing protein to cereal. The word part of our flip book here is really telling us, it's like a map of how we're going to set up our proportion. These two are going to end up being equal to each other because this part is going to be our actual proportion. What do we know from our problem? This is where the known ratio comes in. In this first problem, it says, how many grams of tasty cereal will give you nine grams of protein? 
Well, we know there's 12 grams of protein in what? 100 grams. Okay, so let's go back and look at this. We know there's 12 grams of protein in 100 grams of cereal. Do you see where I'm using the word here and what I know from the problem to help me set up that ratio? And then the unknown ratio is always going to be where we have our question. This is where we know part of it, but we don't know all of it. The question asked, how many grams of cereal will give you nine grams of protein? What do we know from the question? What does the nine go with? Goes with the protein, and what is our unknown? The question says, how many grams of cereal? So we don't know the cereal. Here's our unknown ratio then. We know that this has to be equal. And in our problem, it asked us about nine grams of protein, and we don't know the cereal. And instead of putting a question mark, we're gonna put a variable. I usually use X. And that's how we would go and set that one up. Does that make sense? Okay, so we're going to come back to problems like this over and over over the next week. Things that you guys have done in your book already that maybe you tried but you were confused about. And we're going to use the idea of WKU. What's the words? What are the two things we're comparing? What do I know from the problem? And where's the question? What's my unknown?